Welcome. My name is Nada St. Germain. I would like to thank you for joining us on this series of, of training sessions that we've put together for you to help you build a successful GNLD business. I have some friends here that are helping me out with these sessions, Cindy Hadley and Marilyn Vandenbrink, who you are going to watch and listen to, uh, to their presentations, and hopefully they will help you really understand what it takes to build a successful GNLD business. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to, to sharing with you. Hello, my name is Ada St. Germain and what I'm going to do in this session is I'm going to share with you the importance of setting goals and, and planning. Um, and it's really important to set goals that are realistic, realistic to your business, realistic to your business life, your personal life. And everybody is different, especially because everybody's lives are different, especially if there's families and kids involved. But planning and writing things down and setting goals is very, very important. And what does realistic mean? Well, saying that you want to be a diamond by the end of this year is not really realistic. Um, you know, setting small goals in the marketing plan is something you do with your upline. And again, they'll work with you in deciding what is fair and safe for you as far as goal planning and writing things down. And again, everyone will have different goals. Lives are different. Timing is, is different for everybody. But again, it's very important to sit down with your upline and plan your realistic goals. But it's also very important to memorize your goals. Um, have them written down, whether it be on a wall in your office, in your bathroom, on your fridge, um, where, you act, where you can see them every day, even on your mirror in your bathroom, above your desk, by your computer. Um, goals in writing are dreams with deadlines. Um, there's so much research and proof out there that if you don't write your goals down, um, it takes a lot longer to achieve, to achieve your goals, okay? So set them in stone. Um, in your mind, um, know what they are, prioritize them um, in order of importance, and again, memorize them. This is the seed of action, okay? Visualize your goals, so that's why it's very important to have pictures, collages. I have big collages in my, in my office where I sit down at my desk, and, and even though you're not actually looking directly at them all the time, they're there, and your subconscious does pick them up. So it's very important that you have this in place. Um, I do this with my team. We'll get together every once in a while and cut out pictures of magazines, of things that you want to achieve, what, you're, what, you're, what you're, your garden to look like, what you want your front yard to look like, or, or your, let's say if you're doing some renovations in your home, get some pictures where you can actually put this in place and put it somewhere where you're actually looking at it every single day. And again, visualizing these goals, it actually deepens your desire to get your goals. And it puts you into a frame of mind that keeps you positive and no one can knock you down. Because you know in this business, in any kind of business, there's a lot of people um, that surround you that really can pull you down, knock you down, and make you feel like you know, you're not gonna achieve your goals. And it's the, the vision and the writing down of your goals that's gonna give you the strength um, and that, um, enthusiasm to keep going okay so very very important and also surround yourself again around people who propel you to your goals um, never underestimate the power of people around you to either drag you down uh, or lift you up I mean poisonous people can really destroy your goals um, they drain you of your passions um, yeah, and your desire so it's really important to, to, to get rid of this pes pessimism and become passionate and positive so again be around people that are passionate be around people that are positive um, that, in, that invigorate you uh, and give you that renewed energy um, and a mindset that's going to help you stay positive so again get around people that energize you um, and what I do is I actually call people in my team where we, we're kind of like-minded and we talk and, and we share a story, maybe something's happened at, at an in-home, um, or if things have, have gone wrong, or, or let's say you're feeling down, um, there's somebody in my team that I call to, to actually that can inspire me and bring me back up again. So whether it be your upline, whether it be the person that introduced you uh, to the products or to the business, um, you know, whether it be a friend, 
someone that really believes in what you're doing and they make you feel good about what you're doing and, and help lift you back up again, just remember they're just a phone call away. Um, and don't forget that there's somebody there that can help you and lift your spirits to continue on, okay? And being persistent, this is something that um, you have to decide right off the bat because it's so important um, to, get the, to get what you want. Um, persistence is the key. Um, there's, again, all sorts of barriers and obstacles that you have to overcome to achieve your dreams. You have to attack your dream. You have to go for it. You can't give up. Um, and your dreams can be yours. And they will be yours, again, if you become persistent and, and, and positive. Okay? So some of the goals that I help my team set in their businesses are, are I call them baby steps. And usually I get them to, to be comfortable with their next two steps or the next two goals um, in the marketing plan. And also, um, I also work with them on their personal goals. And sometimes it could be as simple as just being able to get up and do their ID story. That could be a very simple goal, okay? Um, so some of the goals in the marketing plan is becoming a new manager, a new senior manager, becoming a director. Map that out with them. Plan the length of time that they are going to be planning to become a, a new director. And it's really interesting because I found personally if people don't write it down and don't make a plan, they don't become a director. They don't achieve their, their goal because they haven't really mapped it out or set, set up a plan. Okay. Now, a lot of times people won't achieve director, let's say they make it a six month plan. Sometimes it doesn't happen until their seventh or eighth month. But if they hadn't mapped that plan for six months, they probably would not have achieved it in seven or eight months. So if you don't achieve it in the exact month that you've actually set your, your goal, that's okay. You're actually closer than if you would not have written it down and not mapped it out. So very important that you sit down with, with, your, with your upline to do this. And then once you achieve director, you know, then your next goal is Emerald Director. And that's just becoming um, consistent in your GNLD business. And consistency is the key. And that could be your goal, just becoming a consistent director. And then once you become a consistent director, you are able to now start earning a car bonus. And that could be your goal. Right? And when you develop a car bonus, that money can go towards a car or it could be to helping to pay for a family holiday. So it's a little extra money that they give you on top of your bonus. But let me tell you, that extra money can really, really make a difference. So again, set that goal and, and map it out with, with, your, with your upline. Okay. So another goal that I feel is very important is sponsoring. Um, make it a goal to sponsor three people this month. Okay, or help a new distributor become a new manager or senior manager. And that's what I do quite regularly. I work with my team on helping them become a manager or senior manager by having them host a grand opening, have a, an in-home or a shake and shop party where I can help them achieve the first um, step in, in their business and also their second step in their GNLD business. Do a one-on-one -on -one every week. Okay, that's something that I set a goal is I try to meet with somebody at least once a week to introduce the products or the business to people, okay? Talk to three new people a day. Just talk to them about GNLD. So you're planting seeds, right? If you're not talking to them about what you're doing, it's very hard, to, again, to add people to your list of names. So make sure you, you talk to people, and if you make it a goal, two a day, three a day, make that a goal and do it. Another goal that's really important is to follow up with your customers, because that's, I think, one of the things that sometimes um, we can fall short. Um, it's very important that you pick up the phone. Um, I know a lot of my, my uh, newer, uh, younger distributors, they like text messaging, but I'm always touching base with them, seeing how they're doing, how they enjoy the flavor of their shake. You know, are they enjoying their Pro Vitality Plus? How are their kids enjoying the vitamins? So very important that you follow up with your customers and that's a very important goal that you set. Whether it be you do a power hour once a week or every other day, whatever you can do with your time, just make it a goal to follow up with your customers and your distributors, okay? Um, have your own shake and shop party, taste of wellness, grand opening, whatever you wanna call it. Just make it a goal to have these events. Um, I recommend um, having a big grand opening, but then every once in a while have a shake and shop party and have your customers that are really happy with the products host a shake and shop party. Um, that is a, an area where you can really grow and expand your business by having someone that's already excited with the products and, and loving the products. It's easy for them to share and, and invite people to come to their home 
to take a look and to, and to try the products and also take a look at the business opportunity. I cannot stress the importance of training. Um, when I started building my GNLD business, um, I went to every event I could possibly go to. Um, I found that by empowering myself, by getting comfortable with the marketing plan, with the science, with the product, it just helped me build that inner strength and belief in what I was doing. And I knew that nobody could knock me down because I knew what these products could do for people and I knew what the business opportunity can really do and really make a difference um, in people's lives. So very important that you join the conference calls, the trainings. Um, again, the more you learn, the more comfortable you become and the easy it is to build your GNLD business. Now you will not achieve your goals just by reading what you've learned or listening to me. Um, you will not achieve your goals with no action and I cannot stress that. You have to put your goals into place and do what it needs to take, okay? Um, if you look back and you haven't achieved um, your first goal, whether it be a manager or a senior manager, look at what you have not been doing, okay? Um, and just do it, okay? Your dreams will come true, your goals will come true if you do what you set out to do and make your list of goals and just take that action. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to you achieving your goals in your GNLD business. Thank you.